Hi everyone, so, Algebra at Division. Let's get going with this, you're either watching this for the first time or you're watching it because um, you're continuing with confidence it needs to be, needs some review, so uh, let's just get straight into it. How's the method work? Well, uh, let's first write the problem. So we're trying to divide x to the 4 minus 3x squared plus 1 um, by x minus 2. The idea is we're trying to write this thing uh, in factorized form so that x minus 2 is a factor as close as possible and then we're trying to adjust. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, the process is always the same. Denominator is written uh, in top and bottom with a working section here, so W for working, right? The idea is what would we times x minus 2 by in order to get x to the 4 minus 3x squared plus 1? So, what would we have to times x by to get x to the 4? Well, that would be x cubed. If we multiply out to see what we have, we get x to the 4 minus 2x cubed. x to the 4 it's what we wanted, so we're happy with that. We now have a minus 2x cubed, which is not what we started with here. We have no x cubed. So what would I need to times x by to get rid of that and adjust? That's what I'm doing. I'm adjusting all the time. But I'd have to times it by plus 2x squared. If I multiply just that bit out again. So the working is basically what we have, right? Whereas this is, up here, what we want, okay? And we're always trying to get the what we have and what we want to be the same. So if I multiply my 2x squared times 2x, that gives me plus 2x cubed. Minus, and now 2x squared times 2, minus 4x squared. So this and this cancel, which is exactly what we wanted. But now we've got minus 4x squared, but here we've got minus 3x squared. So in order to get it to from minus 4 to minus 3, I need to plus an x squared, don't I? So what do I need to times x by? Well, I need to times it by plus x, because now we multiply out. That's plus x squared minus 2x, good. The x squareds cancel out to what I want them to be. Now I've got minus 2x, but here I've got no x again. Remember, we want the what we have to be what we want. So minus 2x, I would times that by minus uh, by plus 2. Multiply that. So that's plus 2x minus 4. Bang, bang, they cancel. What I have then is minus 4. And what I want, though, is plus 1. I can't put any more in these brackets because this ends with your constant term. OK? Uh, you want everything in this bracket here to be uh, a polynomial in terms of x going up to the constant. So x cubed, x squared, x, and then x to the 0, right? And it ends with the constant every time. So if I have minus 4, if I multiplied this and this out, right? It, what this working section is, is if I multiply this and this out, this is what I would have. OK, so I would have a minus 4 at the end. Everything else would be fine, but I need a plus 1. So I need to add 5 to adjust it, basically. And that is your remainder. That is your remainder there. So if you use the remainder theorem and put in f of 2 into there, you will get 5. OK, so how do we finish this off? Well, we can now split this fraction up. Plus 2 all over x minus 2 plus 5 over x minus 2, do you see? And now this and this cancel, and you have the form that you want. Now, this is really useful for partial fractions in the terms of integration, which you'll be doing uh, very shortly. So it's really important that we can use algebraic non-division. Let's go again. This time, <coughs> I'll write this out. So 2x to the 5 plus x take 1 x squared take 2, so always the same, right the bottom, right the bottom on the top, working section somewhere to the side, 
and let's go. What do we need to times x squared by to get 2x to the 5? Well, I need to times it by 2x cubed. Multiply that out. That's 2x to the 5. Good, that's what we wanted. Minus 4x cubed. Done. So now I have, remember, this is what I, what I have. And this is what I want. So... <coughs> How do we get rid of that minus 4x cubed when here we have no x cubed? Well, I need to times x squared by plus 4x. So multiply it out again. Just that 4x bit. 4x cubed minus 8x. Cancels, cancels. That's exactly what we wanted. Here I've got minus 8x. So we've got our 2x to the 5. That's good. Here I've got minus 8x, but here I've got 1x. What can I times x squared by to get rid of minus 8x? Well, I can't. There's nothing I can times it by. Because remember, the last term here, can, the smallest it can be is a constant. So there's nothing I can times x squared by uh, to get, to generate this corrective minus 8x. Apart from something to do with 1 over x, but remember, that's not the point of what we're doing here. We're building a polynomial that ends on a constant, not a 1 over x or 1 over x squared type thing. So minus 8x, here I've got plus x, so that means all I can do is deal with my remainder here. So to get minus 8x to be plus x, I need to plus 9x. In order to get, uh, here I've got plus 0 essentially, but here I've got plus minus 1, so I need to minus 1. Do you see? And now we can split up our fraction again. Minus 2 plus 9x take 1 over x take 2. That cancels when you're left with what you started with. The problem is, how do I know if I'm right or not? How do I know if I'm right? Well, we need to check. Okay? I need to check that I'm right. This is something that you should be guaranteed to be right, okay? So if you put x equals 0.01 into your original, and then you put x equals 0.01 into your new, they should be exactly the same. So if I very quickly do that, I want you to do this at the same time as me. You must be... Some students say, oh, I don't have time to check. And that's because they're really slow with their calculators. So if you go 0.01 in your calculator, press equals, and now use your answer button. So two answer to the five, <coughs> plus answer minus one, all divided by answer squared, take two. That gives me 0 0.49502475111, which is what I wanted. Now if I whack 0 0.01 into the my answer, so 2 answer cubed, plus 4 answer, plus 9 answer take 1, divided by answer squared take 2, I get, <coughs> I should have exactly the same, which I do. So I know that I'm guaranteed to be correct here. Let's go again. So this time, we've got... <coughs> 3x cubed plus 2x squared take x plus 2 all over x squared plus 3x plus 1. So, always the same. Right the bottom. Right the bottom. W for working. So let's go. What do we need to times x squared by to get 3x cubed? Well, 3x. So if we multiply that out, 3x cubed plus 9x squared, plus 3x. Bang. 3x cubed, sorted. Here I've got plus 9x squared. Here I've got 2x squared. So what do I need to times x squared by to get that to be the same? Well, minus 7. <coughs> Multiply that out. I get minus 7x squared, minus 21x, minus 7. Here, you can just make sure you've collected all of your terms. So 9x squared minus 7x squared. That does give me 2x squared, so I'm sorted there. Here I've got plus 3x minus 21x. Well, that gives me minus 18x. 
and I've still got the minus seven, you see? So just draw a line and just make sure you've cleaned it up and you know exactly what it is that you have. So we've ended with our constant term here and therefore there's nothing more we can do. Everything else is our remainder. So I've got minus 18x, I need minus x, so I need to plus 17x. And I've got minus 7 and I've got plus 2 here, so I need to plus 9. Split it up, so x squared plus 3x plus 1, 3x takes 7, plus 17x plus 9, over x squared plus 3x plus 1, x squared plus 3x plus 1, they cancel, so you're left with 3x takes 7, plus 17x plus 9, over x squared plus 3x plus 1. But we're not finished. The check is part of the question, right? So you don't walk away from it if you, uh, if you don't know you're right. So point not one, see how quickly we can do it now. So you do it too. Make sure you're doing it as well. I'm going to be checking if you're checking when I go through your booklets, okay? So answer square plus free answer plus one. If I whack it in the left-hand side, so left-hand side, I get 1.93204835. If I put it in the right-hand side, right-hand side, 0.01, so into my answer. So free answer takes 7 plus 17 answer plus 9 over answer squared plus 3 answer plus 1, I get 1.93204835. Wicked. <coughs> Last one then. So, it's asking us to do x cubed take 2 over x plus 3. So, top and bottom. Wicked. So I forgot to add the smiley face there. Cool. That makes me happy. All right, <coughs> working here, and we're ready. So what do we need to times x by to get x cubed? Well, we need to times by x squared. So if we multiply that out, x cubed plus 3x squared. x cubed sorted. Here I've got plus 3x squared. Here I've got no 3x squared. So I need to times x by minus. I need to get rid of that 3x squared, so 3x. So I multiply that out, minus 3x squared, take 9x, bang, bang, cancel. Here I've got minus 9x, here I've got no 9x, so I need to plus 9. Multiply that out, plus 9x, plus 27, cancel, cancel, done. And I'm left with plus 27. Here I've got minus 2 though, so I need to minus 29. Write them again, split up your fractions x plus 3, x plus 3, and they cancel exactly how we expect them to, x plus 3, let's see if you can race me now for the check, x equals 0.01, left hand side, right hand side, the reason we use 0.01 is that <coughs> you're never going to be dividing by 0 on the bottom, you see, if you've got a, if you've got a fraction, Let's say a factor, let's say your factor was x minus 1 and you put in, oh, I'll check with x equals 1, then you'll be dividing by 0 and all of our noses will start bleeding, okay? So on the left-hand side, minus 0 0.66445145, and the second one, 0 0.1, answer squared, take 3 answer plus 9, minus 29, divide by answer plus 3. And we get the same thing. Do you see how quick that is for me to check? You guys are younger than me, more dexterous, which means you should be able to do it at exactly the same speed. Okay, that's everything I think. Done.